Welcome to the Dye Studio renovation vlog. This is how the Dye Studio looked at the very start. Um, it was actually, it's, a, it's an old stable block that belonged to our neighbour and gladly she sold it to us. Um, before we could really begin there was a lot of work to do. We had to cut down a tree. You can see all the logs here piled up. And my friend Charlie and my husband Timmy are there at the left hand side clearing out some of the rubbish. So this is kind of how it looked before we started anything. I had this window in the middle and a small doorway at the right hand side. So this is kind of how it looked on the outside before we started. Then we kind of moved to the inside and things were pretty crazy. There was stuff everywhere and we had to um we had to get this all read out before we could start doing anything in the inside or outside actually. So we started clearing everything out. It took a lot of runs to the skip and the dump and you can see there's a little wall in the middle of the studio that we actually took down as well. So this is kind of how it looked. Um, my neighbour used it kind of as half dump, half garage, I guess. And we start to get it cleared out so that we could start some demolition. <laughs> so the first thing we did was lower this window to the ground so you can see how it looks here. And then we started to build frames for the extension which you'll be seeing next and this took quite a while we had um, some help from my friend's dad and um, yeah this is kind of how it looked at this stage next up was the drainage we had a lot of digging to do to get this drainage sorted and um, so this had to run the whole way from the house to the new studio to um, allow any water to drain away properly. Um, initially we had looked at doing a kind of soak away thing but we didn't have enough space. So once we got all the frames up this is kind of how things were looking. The frames were also to put insulation in and hold cladding so um, those were going up all around and I also got a washing line up which was so nice. The garden was starting to come into bloom around this time. I think this was in July, so everything was looking lovely in our garden um, at in this area. But obviously the top of it kind of got slightly wrecked. But I'll leave you with this nice little picture before I start into a big chat here next. I haven't been so good at doing these updates on the studio renovation, but I just thought I would show you what um, the builders did today. They sorted out the drainage for the studio, which is vitally important. We had ideas to do the drainage in different ways, maybe slightly eco, more eco-friendly type of ways, but in the end it didn't work out due to lots of different reasons. So anyway, we just got conventional drainage and um, I'll just show you what they did here and how things are looking now because a lot of progress has happened this week and the next stage will be windows, doors, insulation, cladding, roofing. I'm not sure in what exact order, but yeah, something like that. After that's all done, I'll need to start thinking about the inside a little bit and seeing what I can um, start sorting out for that because I need to order up my units and the sink and all of that stuff. So. I thought I might just quickly give you a little update on the studio where we're at. So we've got this one frame up and the drainage has been done. So the next stage is build the roof frame um, and then put on the insulation on the outside of this. And then after we've done that, we can clad it. The cladding is, ooh, what is it now? I can't remember the name of it, I'll just put it down here. But basically this big hole is going to be the window where my desk is. And this 
it's all going to be a flower bed. Um, this is also going to be a window and it's going to be a window and a door. And then this here is going to be a flower bed as well. So I need to start thinking of my little planting scheme for here and here. I have some plant ideas in mind. I want to go with like a prairie style with loads of grasses um, and that type of thing. And then maybe some plants like Echinacea and Hellenium and that type of a thing. Achillea would be really nice. If you have any suggestions, let me know in the comments. I'm all ears. Um, so... I think then the roofers will come and do the roof. The roof is not good. Um, and then they have to put in three roof lights as well. I have been looking at tile samples. I have been looking at um, carpet samples for the office. I'm going to put like a wool carpet in the office. Um, and what else have I been looking at? I need to price out how much my stainless steel units are going to be and um, which I'm so excited to use because I've just been using like a makeshift kind of setup for so long now um, you can see and I've, I'm also looking for the perfect office chair um, which I have not yet come across I want it to be good for knitting in and I want it to be good for replying to emails and doing computer work and then this little area the little extension that I showed you this is all going to be on the inside it's all going to be birch plywood so basically it's going to be a big table the whole length it's three meters here all birch plywood, a birch plywood desk, and then it's all going to be lined in birch plywood. Over here, there's going to be all storage for all my dye jarn. And then, yeah, there's not going to be that much room left on here. Then this is going to be cut open here, so I have access into the dye studio. Um, and then, um, this window here will come to about halfway down or so. And this will actually be an opening window, which is going to be so lovely. I'm really, really pleased with how the fence turned out. Um, it's called peeling fencing, like chestnut peeling. Um, and I just think it's really, like, really nice looking. <laughs> and then we're going to plant a hedge down here. Um, and possibly a tree here in this corner somewhere. So, yeah. What else could I tell you? For the door here, I think the plan is to do a sheeted door on this side. So it'll kind of look like a stable block door type thing. And then at the side, we'll just have a glass panel. And that will probably be the thing that takes the longest, I'd imagine. I hope to be in here. I hesitate to even say a date, but I hope to be in here by the end of October. So the plan in here, then on the underside of the roof, we were going to leave this and just paint it white, but I feel like the fixings are too rough looking to look good doing that. So what we're going to do is lath over it all and something like maybe, I don't know, some other wood anyway, we're going to lath over it all. So it creates a nice warm textured feeling. I think it'll be really nice. Um, this is the cladding. You can't really see it, but <laughs> it will weather to quite a pale silver color. This is currently the situation with the garden, what it looks like. <laughs> so that needs to be remedied as well. And I think that's, I think for the floor, yeah, so in here we're doing um, a heat mat, an electric heat mat, which is kind of like underfloor heating, but without, you know, it's for sm small spaces basically. So um, I wouldn't need much heating in here because of the pots, but just it'd be nice to come down and it's a wee bit warm and very inviting place to start working. And um, I think 
that is maybe where we're at at the moment. Today's date is the 14th of October, or 14th of August, so we'll see where we're at in a month's time. <laughs> um, all the drainage, needs, this all needs to be filled in here with this, well, with gravel actually. And um, yeah, I need to do my planting scheme. So once I've that done, I can maybe update you on what I'm planning to do for that. This is the roof structure going up. My friends Charlie and Dave and my husband Timmy were, they were all helping with this. And um, it was quite difficult to do. And you also had to attach it to the top of the extension. And then after that, Dave started sheeting it for us. Um, so we were using a mixture of hand saws at my day as well. Um, hand saws like sawing all this stuff out to cut the OSB. And then we also had an electric hand saw that we were using to cut things as well. And as you can see, there's piles of dirt everywhere. Here's me doing a bit of sawing. Um, and Charlie and Timmy are cutting out some of the plywood here for the roof and Dave is sunbathing, only joking Dave <laughs> and Charlie's getting very um, dusty he was cutting out an opening um, on the inside so that I, I'll be able to go into my office so I think you'll see that here next yep so this is what was cut out this opening here you can see in front of you and then um, this is it from the inside looking out. So you can see with the view out my kind of picture window into my Monet garden, what it's going to look like. And here we are halfway through September. It is Wednesday the 20th of September and I am down at the new studio showing you what stage we're at. I'll take you down a little bit better than this. The roofers um, were supposed to come this week. They said they had me penciled in for this week, but so far they've done a no-show. We've already rang them once and they said they would send someone down <laughs> to look at it before they start and then they would let us know. So, so far no one's appeared. My dad's been working on getting the insulation in, which is really good. Um, he's done two sides so far, which is so helpful. I kind of thought I'd be able to do more of this, but um, I've just been dying. So we still need to put the insulation here, here, and around two of the sides. Then we can put on the vapor control layer and the, then the cladding, but we can't do any of that before the roof goes on. The only thing we can do is the insulation and the vapor control layer. So quite a lot of work and quite a lot of mess, to be honest. This will all get chopped up probably for firewood or used for building things and all this topsoil will go into raised beds for dye plants and veg. I'll show you what the inside looks like now. I would really like to get this watertight before any more rain comes. I think they're probably going to need like three dry days to like get it finished. So I really hope that comes soon. This week, so far, there's been two dry days, so it could have been partially done if they'd have turned up. <laughs> but alas, they did not. Um, there was a lot, a lot of work in the last couple of weeks working on this roof to get it ready for the roofers, all in a mad panic. And then, of course, they don't turn up, but that's the way it is. There's a lot of work making the space for the roof lights and also making a gutter so I'll just show that to you now. So we sheeted this all ourselves and built these up stands for the roof lights with a little help from our friends. So they did a really good job. So this will let a whole lot more light in. This is going to be one big window here and then this is going to be a flower bed. This is my little sink window for when I'm rinsing. And this is going to be a window and a sheeted door. And then down here is going to be my store. This um, is another roof light. So there's three roof lights in total. You don't want to put in too many because they're very, very expensive. 
and the little opening here is just going to be well this is going to be an opening window and then this bit's going to be i think sheet it or maybe just plasterboard it and then this is going to be just an opening and then this is going to be a window to my beautiful money <laughs> flower bed garden <laughs> so i've picked the tiles that i want for in here obviously we can't do that until we put the insulation down on the floor and then we also have a heat mat to go down looks great doesn't it <laughs> and then yeah i forgot to say well obviously there's going to be loads of raised beds here but down in this corner there's going to be a log shed a new log shed which i'm so excited about and also there's going to be a couple of compost bays which i really need to get on with megan I was visiting my friend on Sunday and he showed me how he built his um, log stores so I think I'm going to replicate that because we have some tin that came off the roof of this that I'm going to use for the roof of the, the, the log store. It's good old tin, it's good quality tin so he had them at an angle so the rain dripped off not on your head when you were collecting the sticks. I'll show you what this little area looks like as well it's pretty bad so i think we'll call that this stage one vlog stage two will be when we're getting near completion and then the third vlog will be the, the reveal and probably the opening party i think i'm going to have a little party with for all the people who helped me and just friends and stuff so and um, stay tuned for all of that i Initially, I wanted to be in by the end of October, but now I'm just like, there is no way that's going to happen. So I hope, I hope I could be in for the second week in November for the Christmas shop update. That would be really good, but maybe that's unrealistic as well. <laughs> but we'll see how it goes anyway. Um, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any questions, you can let me know. Oh, this is the gutter that we spent a really long time on. I'll show it to you before I go. Doesn't look like much, does it? But it's actually quite complicated. Also for the gutter, I need to source two big galvanized drinking troughs to catch the water. Um, I want to collect the water, either for use in the dye pots or in the garden. Um, and yeah, so I'm gonna go around some um, maybe auctions or antiques places and see if I can find them. If not, I might get someone to make them. Um, so I think that's everything now. My regular garden's getting totally neglected because I don't have time to do it, but that's just the way things are right now. And um, yeah, if you've any, uh, any crack for me, let me know. <laughs>